Hi everyone, James here from Ground Force. I've got Sandy with us, our operations manager. What have we got here, Sandy? Uh, so this is our Nova, made by Knockpix. The first Australian design made for Australia thermal unit, vehicle mounted thermal unit. This unit mounts on your vehicle on a spotlight mount. Spotlight just like mount. this, take that off there, put it on to the spotlight mount there and operate it here, move it around. And the video is transmitted to your iPad. So a lot of customers over the years have said to us that they've been mounting their, their thermal monoculars up on top of the spotlight mounts just like this. Now, thermal monocular is not designed by nature to be put, stuck on top of a vehicle driven down a bumpy corrugated road at 100 kilometers per hour. So we thought it was you know, paramount for the Australian market that, that someone came out for a product that could actually be mounted on top of a vehicle in this fashion and would actually withstand, um, withstand the vibrations, withstand the dust, withstand the rain, withstand those conditions. From that, uh, we came up with a bit of a prototype that Sandy developed designed up in CAD, did some 3D printing, that sort of stuff, utilized some of the existing products that we had in the past, and then um, put them into a, to a housing that was suitable for this. Um, following that, we spoke to Knockpix about it. We showed them this. Some of our customers had given some really good feedback and input into the need for this type of product, and um, the Nova was born. So the name Nova, um, it's an interesting story. We were talking about what we should call the product and um, we've got a dog called Nova who actually really, really loves hunting. Nova's a Belgian Malinois and is just super, super uh, you know, excited about hunting, loves hunting, loves tracking animals and has got a great nose and helps us find a lot of animals when we go hunting and our prey and that sort of stuff, the things we're looking for. So we thought um, Nova, you know, relates to like stars and the galaxies and like supernova sort of thing and we're like well to do with the night and the dog's good at hunting so we're like yeah nova Sounds you know good. and um the name stuck so that's how we got the name nova so named after one of our dogs so the nova it's better than all of the other units that have came before it one it's we've cut out all of the stuff that you no longer need so no buttons no batteries nothing along those lines the unit itself has a 640 by 512 50 hertz sensor. So it's one of the fastest ones on the market. Also shutterless as well. Shutterless. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't have that annoying click. But you can nuke it as well. So yep. as yep. the night goes on, as things heat up, you can still nuke it and yep. get a clearer image. So it does still have a shutter, but operating, you leave. It is yep. shutterless operations. It runs entirely off the app as well. So. Um, you don't need to actually push any buttons on here. You don't have to do anything that you just power it up and get the get your iPhone uh, iPad Samsung whatever you've got tablet. whatever mm -hmm. tablet you've got out tablets probably the best thing mounted up in the vehicle and it's mm -hmm. totally controlled via the tablet so no no mm -hmm. no buttons no things required very very simple incredibly simple operation probably yep. the easiest operation of every, every any thermal device we've ever seen yep. and with that the it's 5K Wi-Fi, yes. so the old 2.4 always had troubles in utes and things like that. Interference is your biggest problem with Wi-Fi over thermals. Uh, with the 5 gigahertz, that eliminates all of that. Yeah, no internet connection required. This forms a network between this device and your tablet. So that's all you need. No internet, no um, other connections or anything required. Does that. However, in the future, you'll also be able to run it via a USB-C cable at the back here. You'll be, be able to stream the image via the cable as well as over 5G Wi-Fi. So what do you reckon? What's that like? What, what happens to that if it rains on it? So at the moment, with this little rubber grommet over the back, that is IP67 rated. So you, basically you can submerge that in water for, yeah, I no. believe, an hour is IP67, yeah. quote me yeah. if I'm wrong. But um, with that sealed, it's not going to be damaged at all. The unit is made from uh, aluminium housing, so it's stronger. The mounting points are much stronger than your typical monocular. Most monoculars have a plastic housing with very small screws in this mounting area. So that's designed to handle the rattle, the bump, the twist. Also as the water with the cables screwed in correctly, you won't have any issues with rain, yeah. water. Yeah. Close the dust cap so that you don't get dust on it, but the unit itself will handle most yeah. things. So it was a big problem in the past. You know, we at Ground Force here, we service and repair 
um, Knockpicks, Infray, and other brands of, yep. of thermal imaging cameras over the years and, and monoculars. We have had a large amount of them back mm -hmm. um, that have been mounted on vehicles. And normally, um, you know, what are the what are the issues we see so when the they most, come back? The most common issue we have with thermals that are vehicle mounted are normally user error where they drive under something and yeah, tear off of. the the heat sink underneath where the mounting plate gets mounted up to it. Yeah. Um, again, sometimes with the vibrations of vehicles and plastic, it can vibrate, come loose, all the rest. The mounting point was one of the weakest parts of a standard thermal and the strongest yeah, part so of this. Lot, lot stronger on this here. So having that Picatinny rail there, that is that is really strong. And um, you can mount that up on here. Yeah, very large screws. So nothing's small. It's made made to last Australia. And, and it is handle Australia as well, people. isn't it? Yeah. Like that, that mount is replaceable there. Yeah, it's just your standard Picatinny rail. Yeah. So if you can't get the original, you can always add your own Picatinny. Or if you wanted to come up with your own mounting system, you can just undo those screws and mount it direct on there. You don't need the Picatinny rail. Yeah, well, that's really cool. And it also has a retainer too. So it has the USB-C, mm -hmm. um, but there's also a retainer plug that goes in here, uh, which we can grab out yep. in a second and um, allows that USB-C cable to be secure, secured in there. Because another thing we used to get is the USB, USB ports would break um, as a result of the device being on a vehicle and moving around and twisting and turning and vibrations, yep. all that sort of stuff. So it's actually got a secure mounting system there. So show us what's inside the, Nova, the box. The box, it's actually a very small little box. The whole unit is very small. Um, we've cut out everything you don't need. Um, the unit itself, nice little carry box and a quick start manual so not a lot in there it's just very basic unit. very basic it doesn't need what comes in with it and your instructions there so very simple there the unit itself let's put up here little zip bag you can open it up so you've got Let's yourself the Nova here. um and in this little yeah. zip bag you've got your cables so while James is showing that, I'll get yeah. these out. So cool little thing too, um, on the prototypes we didn't have this, but the, we've upgraded on the um, production version that that cap will stay there, stay a lot better there. This has also been upgraded, the screws and that sort of thing there. Um, like we said before, we do have that little retainer. Where's that little retainer? The little retainer. So this guy here. So if you're running this off USB-C, what you can do, is you grab this, you put your cable here, mm -hmm. stick it in the back, there, and you can tighten that up. Be like the old serial port on a serial or parallel printer port on an old style computer. Similar sort of design mm. to that, but that is not going anywhere now. Like that's. So that's, that'll stop it from pulling out of the unit. That's not going Keep it anywhere. in place. Like, You're not going to lose power or data. Yeah, I um, probably wouldn't recommend doing this down the road and dragging it behind the car or anything like that. We're not going to do a torture test. But it's a lot stronger mm. than just plugging this simply into a standard USB-C port like this. There, as that, that can move mm. around and that sort of thing. And that's easy, easy to damage the port. And easy to pull out so yeah uh, we've designed this system mm -hmm. to enable it to be a lot stronger and tougher so really cool really cool um, thing there so that's not going anywhere that can then be plugged into your into say like something like a spider pot or a power bank or anything like that there is also a longer cable which we've got here which is an accessory that you can buy just three meter cable you can plug in here you can run this all the way down into the vehicle and power it off one like your cigarette adapters or something like that in a vehicle or off your tablet um, or anything else which has a USB-C plug mm -hmm. so included in the packaging as well as the 25 centimeter cable and the retainer you've also got your power adapter standard 12 to 18 volts yep um, 12, 12 to 24 volt. 20, 12 to 24 volt. So you just plug that into the rear of the unit. Well, James playing with that. Unscrew. Screw that in and do it up. With this 
cable in, it is IP67 rated with that unit there. Now this is a three meter cable, so you can just go down to wherever. Put an Anderson plug adjustment on it, whatever, adapter. Yeah, any type um, of plug you want, Deutsch any, plug, Anderson plug. Whatever um, suits you, whatever you want to set up. Clips, um, cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter. Yeah. So what we recommend is buying one of these smart rest mounts for Picatinny rail. Suit the Nova perfectly. Put the Nova on there, as easy as this. Adjusting that there, mounting that. Do it all. Take your power then, cable of choice. Power cable, or we can use a USB-C. We want to use that instead. And with our optional three meter cable, USB-C cable can also mm -hmm. be used. So in order to do this, all we have to do is unscrew, unscrew the back here. Unscrew this. There. Oh, check that there. Yep. Put this on. Do it up. Do it up tight there. Now it's completely waterproof. And mm -hmm. wire this up to the vehicle. Red for positive, black for, for neutral. So pretty standard colors there. Wire that up. Hook it up to power, 12 to 24 volts will work. Mm -hmm. That will fire up. Next thing yep. we do, grab our smartphone or whatever app, tablet, yep. download the uh, Knockpix app, which is for free. So download that app, free app from Knockpix on, on yep. the Play Store on or um, Google Store, whatever it yep. is. Do that, um, connect Wi-Fi, you'll see Nova come up on this. The password is 12345678, same as any other Knockpix product. Mm -hmm. And you just connect it, boot the app up, you'll see Nova, connect it there, you can fully control it. You can change the color palette, you can turn image stabilization on, you can turn a range finder on, the laser, the laser. pointer, a um, whole heap of other features, but very, very basic, very, very simple. You can record to your smart device via the app and take photos as well. So video and recording saved on straight onto your thing. So you can share them on, on, on if you want to share them online, you can share them online straight from your device. So very, very easy to use. Uh, probably the easiest and simplest device that Knockpix have ever made. Yep. So when you yep. finish using your Nova, all you do is disconnect the cable there. Disconnect the quick release on the Picatinny. Good put to go. Yep. Probably we'd just put this little cap back on Dust there. Cover. Mm -hmm. Dust cover there. Yep, pop and it in its little storage container. Put it in a little container. There, there you go. Zip it up and it's all yep. safe. Yep. Safe. Yep, throw it in your glove box. Carry it around with you, whatever. That's it. Very, very simple, very lightweight, easy to use, cost effective, and, and designed for Australia, designed for the, the way we hunt, designed for the applications that we use them for. Unlike everything everything else in the market, nothing else in the market is designed to be used on a spotlight mount. This, this unit um, will just work so much better in the application.